Outstanding people, it is Bean and welcome to the Salt Lake Sessions. Our next band started as a brother and sister duo when they were just this big. They saw people dancing and making music in the street and thought, we want to do that too. And here they are doing just that. This is the Wildmans. What up, team? What up? What up? <laughs> what up? What up? Thank you for being here. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah, making some time to come down to the Salt Lake Sessions. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would love to hear about where you all come from. Give me the, uh, the origin story. Cool. Yeah. Well, my sister and I grew up in Floyd, Virginia. It's in the Blue Ridge Mountains, just south of Rona, Virginia. And uh, they play lots of old time music there, and it was just inspiring to us. Growing up, we would see them out, out on the street playing tunes and dancing and it was like looked like so much fun so we just kind of got intrigued by that and then uh, shortly thereafter meeting Victor at the Galax Fiddlers Convention which is just down the road and um, it's one of the oldest Fiddlers Conventions down there so. Cool. Are you from Virginia as well? Yeah I'm from Virginia, a town called Front Royal Virginia but I met uh, the Wildmans at Galax Fiddlers Convention. Yeah and sooner or later moved in with their family. <laughs> <laughs> You're an honorary wild man. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I love totally. that. <laughs> okay, okay. What's the age gap between you two? Um, about two, two, years. two and a half years. Yeah, yeah. like two years. years and then some. Are your parents yeah. musical? Um, Not necessarily. Yeah. They were very supportive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were homeschooled. We got yeah. to focus on music. Yeah, cool. So did they grow up playing the type of music that you play now? No, not at all, actually. Like, my mom, she played a little bit of, like, French horn, I think, in college and high school, I want to say. Nice. But um, my uncle on my dad's side, he plays guitar, and 
likes to play a lot of like blues and like other stuff like that. So I think that is also part of what inspired us. But mm. both of my parents, not yeah, none of them got into that kind of music until like we started playing. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. So you say that you saw people out dancing on the street and yeah. playing this music. Was yeah. there like a particular song or like a memory that you kind we of have from that moment? We were young. Yeah, yeah. we were so Ilo, young. Ilo was like I was like five. five. Yeah. Yeah. So that would have made you <laughs> three. No, I was, yeah. Five, I was maybe seven. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got yeah. you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And you were like, I want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like you guys got to play on stage at Floyd Fest. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Going to Floyd Fest, yeah. uh, John Loman just got us up on stage. That was probably just a few years later. I was maybe 10. I was yeah. like eight. Mm -hmm. And we got up with the Boston Boys and Nate Leith and just a bunch of Berkeley people and uh, Danny Nicely, too. Yeah. Cool. Played a fiddle tune. It was so bridge the gap between that the moment as little kids, like, oh my god, they're dancing and having so much fun, to you playing on stage. When did you pick up well, your instruments? Who taught you? <laughs> so I think that I, like, have this memory of, like, me, Eli, and my mom all being in the car, and I was, like, really young. And I was just like, I want to play fiddle. <laughs> and, like, that's what I remember anyways. Yeah. And then Eli was like, oh, yeah, like, I'll... I'll, pl I'll play guitar, <laughs> and, then, and then Eli played some guitar, played mandolin for a while, but um, yeah, we started taking private lessons like in our hometown, Floyd, and then me and Eli started playing in a little band together when I was like eight. Which is um, kind of our music school, like yeah. had several kids and they all wanted to play more, so they got us together. Yeah. Parents like organized it and we were so young, we were just like, yeah, this is Yeah, fun. and kind of ever <laughs> since that started, me and Eli had been doing the like family band thing and like my mom played bass with us for a little bit and Victor Cute. joined. Nice. And then yeah, we all started going to college and now we're here. And now you're here. <laughs> what prompted you to turn the Wildmans into a family duo from a trio? Or I said that wrong. What prompted you to turn the yeah. Wildmans from a duo into the trio moment? Well, there was actually always like we always had kind of um a third and fourth member okay kind of the whole time it was just a little rotating for a while and then we met Victor and then we had he some the yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> he scared the back and then we had some a little bit of like rotating bass players for a couple of years but mm -hmm. yeah they were are we working on securing a bass player yeah yeah, and even if sometimes we'll play with Nick Falk on the yeah, drums. On the drums yeah. Yeah, cool. Really awesome. We can have the full band, it's fun, but sometimes yeah. it'll just be a trio as well. Ever evolving. Yeah. Ever evolving. Mm -hmm. Do you see a final form in the future for the Wild Mids? Ever I evolving. I mean, yeah, ever evolving. evolving. <laughs> I, I guess, guess those two thoughts didn't really go hand in hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> New album, though, it'll have drums and yeah. some electric bass, upright bass. Yeah. Mm. Tell me about the new album. Yeah, so we're gonna be recording it here soon. We've just uh, recorded a couple of singles, and uh, one of the songs we did today will be on it. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. Some great production from Nick Falk and mm -hmm. Nate Leith, who have been huge teachers and mentors to us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where are you recording? Sort of uh, to be determined. We recorded yeah. the singles though at Nick Falk's little studio in yeah. Galax, Virginia. The Acorn. Virginia. Cool. The Acorn. Yeah. Yeah. The Acorn. Yeah. <laughs> and then how do you think the Wildmans fits into and carries the tradition of bluegrass and folk music? Well, um, <laughs> that's the, that's, if, if, if yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I so it. we play a lot of like, we take a lot of traditional old time tunes. Like I wouldn't say that we're as much bluegrass, but, um, yeah, we take a lot of old time tunes and kind of just funkify them a little bit. Love a so I guess we're, yeah, we're changing the tradition a little bit. Um, and then, like, along with all the singing stuff we do, kind of adds a different aspect to it as well. But, yeah, yeah I would say evolving the tradition a little bit or whatever you want to call it. But Pushing it forward. Yeah. yeah. I love that. I love that. And creating your own space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Love the Midnight in Harlem cover. Oh, oh thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Such a beautiful song and, yeah. like, risky one to cover. So <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay, you can execute. And it's thank just you. super great. Like, the vocals just... Thank so you. stunning. I was like, Thank yeah, you. this is great. This is great. So, yeah, it's awesome to get to meet you all. Yeah. Right now, I feel like while well, you're still incubating and before the album and the explosion of fame. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh. don't forget us uh, yeah, when you're absolutely. doing the huge stages. And, yeah, hopefully we can have you back soon. Yeah, yeah we'd love you. to. Yeah, Thanks. thank you, Wild Mints. Thank, thank you all so much. Thank you, guys.
Hey stunning people, it's Bean. Make sure to check out the Salt Lake Sessions YouTube channel and subscribe.